Start by opening the precision menu from the status bar up here. With an active grid, the snap function here will automatically snap your lines to the grid. Tap options next to it and you'll be able to further control this behavior. In this video, we'll focus on the top section here, which contains the settings for snap while drawing. The app defaults to snap to grid with turns allowed, which lets you draw multi-directional lines as seen here. I'll turn it off for now. Snap to grid means that all strokes are drawn on top of the closest grid line available. The second snap type here aligns your strokes directionally with the grid lines and allows you to draw diagonals as well. This is great for quick, accurate sketching without being too constrained by the grid type. Because of this, align to grid is usually the preferred choice when working with perspective grids. The first toggle and snap options allows you to trace backwards when drawing on the grid. The second one allows you to make turns. Autocomplete works a little differently depending on which type of snap you have active. Align to grid allows you to connect strokes to one another. You may see small circles appear showing you possible points to connect to. Tap one if it's useful, or ignore them if not. When you draw close enough, the strokes will connect automatically. With snap to grid, strokes will not only connect to one another, but to the intersections of the grid as well. In case you have several layers visible, but only want autocomplete to occur on strokes on the active layer, the next toggle allows you to set this constraint. Autocomplete can also connect the beginning and end of a single stroke. This one works best when drawing freehand, which can be done by deactivating the snap type up here. Now you can easily draw closed curves. Just make sure to apply some smoothing to your brush for best results. It's worth noting that all the brushes maintain their dynamics with snap, so you can use tilt, velocity, and pressure to add variance to your strokes. Another thing worth mentioning is that snap will work regardless of whether the grid layer is visible.